How did we lose? Did you kill yourself? Look at that. You sent a spike right up his butt and you killed yourself? Are you kidding me? You sent him into space with one of those thingies. What's up guys? We's back with Totally Accurate Battle Simulator today. And today we're going to start off with honoring the horde or no, honoring their champion. So let's, uh, gosh, I remember this one. There's a bunch of them. Up by the statue, huh? There's something special with the statue. I feel like this would be a good place to hide something. I'll come back and look later. Okay, so hear me out. This plan's gonna sound really, really stupid, but we got our, um, yeah, uh, where were they? Our squires up here in front, kind of just to lead them in. Got our archers up here on the rooftops so we can just snipe them. Then we got some more squires hidden over here. Oh, I got some on the ledge. That's actually funny. So we got some more squires over here to kind of back up as they, you know, dwindle their numbers. We got a catapult hiding back here. And then for no in particular reason, we just have a bunch of halflings over here in the corner. So let's see how this goes. Oh, oh. Get in there, squires. Get in there. You're doing good. You're not doing good. Archers, why did you come off the roof? You were supposed to stay on the roof. Oh, God. This is not going to plan, guys. This is not going to plan. Only one of you stayed on the roof. And you just fell to your death. Oh, well, hello, halflings. You weren't supposed to come around that way. I guess that works. Where's the catapult? The catapult is stuck. Okay, the halfling invasion did not work the way I wanted it to. Catapult, you completely missed. And now you're not gonna have time to reload and fire again. Okay, well, we got a couple. Still not gonna help, though. Yeah. Who are you guys fighting? You already destroyed the catapult. Was there a squire stuck back here? There was a couple squires stuck back here. Okay. We got our, our archers a little bit better situated up here on the roofs. We got our half leads lead or half leads. Halflings in the front row. So hopefully they'll dogpile and kind of distract. The catapult can shoot in a round or two, and then our squires will come in from the rear. So let's try this one. Okay, archers, don't you move. Just start shooting arrows. Perfect. Half. You guys are moving way quicker than I wanted you to. And you hit the wall. Got it. Hmm. My archers got off the roof again. Oh, goodness. What did I just get? Tell, kill 10 units with the catapult with one stone. That was awesome, catapult. Thank you. Please fire again. Oh, yeah. Huh. <sighs> I don't want to do another wall battle. But the nice thing is, this guy isn't the weakest unit of his faction. He's the second weakest, or I guess he's the second cheapest. So that means we could use a shield bear. See if your spear does good against my shield. <laughs> oh, please fall and die. No! Oh, no! What? My good sir, did you fall on his head and kill him? Yeah, I see you staring off into the distance. Answer the question. Whatever, it's a win. Past the bridge. So we pretty much got like all the shield bearers and a king. Well, you know what that calls for. So let's see, they're using all the way up to the knights or medieval. Uh, one catapult, a two catapult, and a couple more squires. We're gonna go two catapults, three harvesters, because they were a pain in the butt to kill the one time I had a gun since them, and a handful of halflings just for a distraction. Let's go! Okay, yep. Oh, halflings, you did amazing! One survived, too. That's good. Catapult, line it up again. Yeah, I probably could have gotten away with a crud ton of halflings and just taken them all out with the catapult. King, you just killed your own guy. You got your own guy 
Again. And again. Thanks, King, for helping me. I'm thinking this is actually going pretty well. Unless my catapults can't hit anything. Catapults. 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 Catapult. 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 He was right in front of you. You missed his face. I like that much. Okay, so hear me out. I think we did good. We just didn't have enough halflings and we had too many harvesters. So we got one harvester, just kind of be like our meat, potatoes, sack, shield thing that can take the damage. And I have my halflings split out, spread out, so hopefully they can like get in. That cause kind of a kajumble of people. Catapults can attack. And then the next wave of halflings will come in. And yeah, it, 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 it'll work, I swear, I swear. See, halflings get in there. We take out some people with the catapult. We get some more halflings in there. Okay, those halflings move quicker than I thought they would. And then we should get some more catapult fire. Catapults, good. We still got the halflings distracting. We are stuck on the bridge. We just, we just need to stay on the bridge. Don't let them go past the bridge. Don't let them go past the bridge. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. We just got the king left. Just got the king. Come on, catapults. Come on, catapults. The harvester's distracting him. The, the, the harvester's got him. You missed his face again. You missed his face again. <laughs> Catapults, you suck. Really? Really? Okay, I think our halfling cannon fodder plan will work. We just, we just gotta, just gotta fine tune it a little bit. So now we split up our hob, hob. Uh, why do I keep calling them hoblets? They're not hoblets. Hoblets isn't a thing. I don't think. I don't know what I'm thinking of. It would be a hobbit. And I don't know why I keep calling them hoblins. They're halflings. So, we, <laughs> we have them split up into smaller groups, kind of spread out a little bit more. We got rid of one catapult. We kept the harvester and we brought in two potion sellers off at the corner. So hopefully they can just hit them on the bridge and distract them and confuse them a little bit more. And then hopefully the catapult will take out the king. Let's go. Oh, perfect. We're, we're confusing them. Potion sellers, you just stay there and keep throwing some potions at them. We're doing good. Getting them halflings in there, catapult any day now. Perfect. That guy's shield flew. The king's in there. He's taking out his own people as well. That's good. Potion sellers are hitting him. Harvester's getting in there and get some action. Oh, we hit him right in the face. Didn't do much though. Just, oh yeah, we're doing good guys. We're doing good. We even got halflings still alive. This is, this couldn't be going any better if the uh, catapult could hit its target. Come on guys, you got this. You got this. Halflings, you can let go of the dead guys and just get in there. Just get on the king. We missed him again. Oh, he got, he, he's down though. Catapult, if you could please just hit the target, that would be amazing. Now, halflings, I know you're confused and in a daze. Um, do not run over the potion seller. Don't run over the potion seller. Oh, you idiot. This just got bad. Or did it? Hello, Mr. King. Can you please just take a, a, a breather until I can get my potion seller unstuck? Please and thank you. This is not going well. Oh, potion seller for the win. Potion seller, you just hit the catapult. This was going good until you decided to move up, catapult. This was going swimmingly. And we have a halfling stuck all the way back there in the corner. Any other halflings stuck? I don't think so. And you missed. And the potion seller hit himself. Is there another halfling stuck? That potion seller was stuck too. What the heck? I think there's somebody alive down here. I don't know who though. Maybe one of the shield bearers. Just push the king into the river. Just push him into the river. That's all you gotta do. Thank you. Oh my God, yes. Now you stay in the river. Don't you get up, just stay there. 
Don't you follow him into the river, he just needs to drown. Did we just win by like sheer and stupid luck? Are you gonna drown? Oh my god. No. Hey, Mr. Halflings. Oh, there's two of you stuck over here. Good, good to know, good to know. Yeah, you guys just have your second lunch. I don't think we're going anywhere anytime soon. Oh, hey, there's another halfling over there in the background, too. I'm so glad my plan of spreading you out to take out the enemy worked. Okay, so I reset some of the halflings, so hopefully they don't get stuck this time. And we can actually get all of our halflings into the fight. But then I was thinking, what happens if I throw, like, a ranged unit up here on one of the buildings where it has railing? And get him stuck? Will he just stay up there and throw that spear? Kind of hoping he does. Let's try that. Dog pile and catapult. Oh, he is stuck up there. That means he's safe. He can't get touched unless he somehow falls off. He also sucks at his aim. Oh, that was perfect, catapult. Actually, I probably should compliment the halflings on that one because they kind of line everybody up. Start aiming for the king, please. Okay, so, so far... My potion sellers are still off to the side, so they're not going to get hit if Mr. Catapult decides to pull up. No, Mr. Potion Seller, do you remember what happened last time? Don't, don't go over there. And quit hitting the halflings. Hit the king. Good. When I told the potion sellers not to hit the halflings, I kind of meant you too, Catapult, but thank you. I should have got the ballista instead. So Ballista, this would have been over with already, right? Mr. Spear Thrower, can you please throw some more spears? How bad everyone else's aim is? You can't do any worse. Oh, never mind, he's running away. He tripped himself. How did that guy get all the way over there? Oh, we have a halfling left. Oh, and we didn't run over our potion sir. Good job. And the Spear Thrower finally got unstuck. Where'd the king go? Oh, that's where the king went. Well, at least he gave up on this pain and suffering before I did. So the next one we have is the chosen one. And by the looks of it... We have a bunch of like the, uh, I want to say they're the priests that can heal. And one, was it a squire? No, no, a squire. Uh, like one knight. I don't think he was a knight. I can't remember what he was. Oh, he is a squire. I thought the squire was something else. Maybe because I'm used to looking at it red. So you have a chosen one, huh? You know what? They might have their chosen one, but so do we. We have the bone mage with all of his butt poking bones and his army of halflings to protect him. <laughs> uh, halflings, you guys are gonna do uh, good, right? Hopefully. He's got the power of invincibility. I need you to get behind him. Behind him would have been better. Okay, Mr. Bone Mage, they're getting them close. You just gotta take out the masses. Oh yeah, with just with that butt puckering bone power. Okay, Mr. Bone Mage, you're doing good. I need you to mm, get him good. Okay, Mr. Bone Mage, it's just you and him. Just you and him. Bone Mage, Bone Mage, Bone Mage, Bone Mage, Bone Mage, Bone Mage. How did we lose? Did you kill yourself? Look at that! You sent a spike right up his butt, and you killed yourself? Are you kidding me? You sent him into space with one of those thingies. Uh, you know what, Mr. Bone Mage? I still believe in you. I think you can do this. I think we're good. We just we just had some sort of weird mix-up, so let's, let's try it again. Okay, this time I got you a little bit closer to the the, uh, the halfling, so hopefully you can get in there and get a little bit more damage in sooner. 
Yeah, just walk right past him. And just just get 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 the guys in the background before the halflings get there. So you have some backup. Good, 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 good. We're doing good, guys. We're doing good. Mr. Bone Mage, if you please would uh, take out a couple more of them. That would be amazing. I knew you could do it with all of your butt puckering bone power. Like, look at that. I mean, technically it went through his chest, but I mean, that one was pretty dang close. And you did get to halflings too, so I mean, you could have got a little bit of a butt puckering action. Yeah, look at that grin on his face. He's loving this. So next we have heavy swings. Oh no, we got Mr. Bear Man. <sighs> you know what that means? It means we're sending in the snakes. Got good. Send in the snakes. Send in the snakes. Mr. Bear Man doesn't like snakes. Just send in those snakes. Send in the snakes. Oh, that's right. He does the ice thing that pretty much instantly kills the snakes. More snakes, please. More snakes. Snakes. Snakes at the double. We're doing good with the snakes. Yep, just all those snakes. Just get in all the snakes. I need you guys to shoot snakes a little bit faster. You know, like a, a, a one of those old mini guns that just shoots snakes would be amazing right now. I need you to shoot more snakes, please. More snakes. The snakes plans didn't work. Darn snakes. I was hoping the sneaky snakes would work. Okay, the halflings, I just need you to hold them still so we can get a good hit in with the ballista. That hit the ice. Ballista, I need you to do a little bit better than that, please. Ballista, right on target. Right on target. Oh, took the king out by the shin? What? How did you miss? How did that not kill him? Isn't the ballista like a god killer? Ballista, I need you to just rapid fire. Rapid fire. Rapid fire is good. Good as rapid fire. Oh, goodness. Goal! Um, please and thank you, Ballista. Nah, it's not good. Okay, maybe something better than halflings for defense. Okay, so we're giving it a new try. Uh, this time we got two ballistas and a couple shield bearers and some halflings. And I think the shield bearers pretty much insta died. Ballistas, I need one of you to hit something. Oh my God, that was amazing. Oh, we have a halfling that's still alive. Mr. Halfling, I just need you to distract him for a little bit longer. Ballistas, ballistas. Oh, okay, well that was one. Okay, you just need you just need three more. Three more good shots. Please and thank you. The one's even stuck. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Just got the one on the ground. You just got the one on the ground. He's stuck. He is inchworming. Can you do it? The answer is yes. And by yes, I mean you speared him straight through the heart. And he's to blame for making me play this level. I think. And it's everyone's favorite chosen one, the squire on the wall. I hate my life. You know what? Using the shield guy last time worked really well, so how about we just use the uh, protector again? Protector, you're gonna do good. <laughs> he literally put his head right into the sword swing oh my god okay retry retry I'm, I'm not i'm not accepting that that was just too golden do it again play it back perfect now jump on his head or body slam him with that shield you are tall compared to him why are you so tall and you put your spinal column right into his blade i see that's a tactic. That's a tactic. Maybe we just need a little bit more finesse. Let's try a clubber. Clubbers always do good. At missing. Oh, straight to the face. And I like the scorpion approach. Didn't think that one was going to come. That's a good one. That's a good one. How about two halflings? Two halflings should work, right? Or not. Halflings? Don't you die when you fall. You died when you fell. 
That one's still alive, though. Where are you going? You jump straight into the wall. Hmm. Did that... Halfling somehow win? Because I thought we lost and I hit tab to go back and reset up. And it brought me to the next level. I don't, I, I don't think I won that last one. I want to go back. Can I go back? Because I, I don't think the halflings work. Did it? Did the two halflings work? Okay, so they tackle him. They knock him off the wall. And they killed him that time. Okay, that time I actually paid attention and did say I win. But last time I thought the halfling jumped, hit his head off the arch, fell down, and then the squire, I thought, killed him. But it let me go forward. I'm so confused. So I guess that brings us to a bravely run away. Away. Can we just hit him with spears? Does that sound like a stupid idea? They're just gonna run away, right? I only got one, two maybe. Cause yeah, they're just supposed to come up, distract you, and then run away. But they're like not getting close enough to distract the spear throwers. This was like the perfect strategy. And I thought it was gonna fail. Like this was just a joke. Okay. Well, I was hoping that was gonna be a fail. But you know what guys, that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And if you like this episode, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you like watching my stuff, make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button, ring the bell icon so you know when I upload new stuff. But until next time, bye -ees. I love yous. I completely missed the halflings getting wrecked. I'm slightly upset, play it again. Oh, top down view. Oh, just look at their little bodies fly. Oh, it's so magical. Off the board. Perfect. Love it.